Continuing our reading in The World in Thorin by Damon Knight, Chapter 8, Section 4. With a retort on his lips, Thorin glanced out the window and saw that it was true. The light rings of the shaft were blurring upward, while the room and all in it, upside down, fell toward the bottom of the underworld. He made a wild grab at the bundle, which struck him a light blow on the forehead. When he looked again, the shaft wall had soundlessly reversed itself and was slowing downward. He shut his eyes in helpless misery. When he opened them, nothing had changed except that the box had drifted closer and the bundles further away. Box, he said. Yes, Thorin. What will happen when we hit the bottom? We will not hit the bottom. Why not? We will slow down and go into one of the tunnels. And afterward, the metal arms would unfold, the pincers would seize him, the two crystals in the front wall, Thorin realized suddenly, must be the eyes of the engine. If he could blind it somehow, and then get the door open. He thought of smearing the eyes with rotten fruit, and wished he had not thrown it down the hole. He could break the eyes, perhaps with his sword, if he could get near enough. The bundle he had before had drifted out of reach. He closed his eyes again. At length, he roused. Something was happening. The floor, which had somehow swung under him, drifted nearer. He touched, got his balance, and stood erect. The box and the bundles lay on the floor nearby. Have we stopped? Thorin asked. In a... But in the next moment, he saw that it was not so. The light rings in the shaft outside were flickering past as swiftly as before. No, said the box. Then, then why do we have weight again? Because the engine is no longer moving as the earth pulls it. It is moving at one speed and no faster, although the earth pulls it to move faster. And, and that makes us have weight? It makes us have the feeling of weight. Weight is weight, said Thorin after a moment. No, because when you put some small thing on your open hand and then turn, swinging your arm very fast. The crystal lighted as it spoke, and there was a very small Thorin whirling with his arm extended. The thing presses against your hand and does not fall. That is not weight, but it is the feeling of weight. Thorin, to his surprise, began to feel that he understood this idea. He talked idly with the box a while longer, then lay down on the pallet with his hands under his head. He must have slept, for when he opened his eyes, he sensed a change. He stood up. The light of the shaft outside, the light rings, were moving more and more slowly. Another proof that the box was right. There was a lurch. The shaft's wall swung toward them, and Thorin sat down involuntarily on the floor, while the box and his bundle slid toward the back of the room. Thorin got his sword as it went by and waited for the pull to stop. When it did, a few minutes later, he was caught off guard but scrambled upright again. He would have to strike quickly twice and break both the eyes of the engine. He leaped and remembered nothing more. That's the end of chapter 8.